Well, we're back in. The people at Allite very kindly sent the Allite Seeker 3 Pro for me to try out and give me an opinion on. It says on the box there, throw of 250 meters. We're going to try that out later. Maximum 4,200 lumens. I mean, that's that's bright. So what do you get? You get this lovely box. The boxes are, oh, I love these boxes, the all right ones. I mean, that's a nice shiny picture on the front. Yeah, feels nice and sturdy. So what's in, in the box? I've obviously opened it. But so you get a nice little welcome. You get this. It tells you, um, quick start, before you start, what you have to do is, there's a little, no, first of all, comes in a lovely holster, so you can put that on your belt if you want, or hang it from anywhere. Clips on your belt, handy. Handy if you go dog walking or anything like that, you know. So you just open it up, and in there is the torch itself. Nice. It's got rubber grips on either side there. Just feels really well made. You've got the four LEDs on the front. Top tip is do not look at these directly when it's switched on. Yeah, I found that out the hard way. So when you when you get it, you've got to start off. You take the back off. Originally there was like a little plastic cover in there. Tiny little plastic, I've chucked it away. And that's just to stop the battery coming on and saves the battery as well. You've got to take that out before you start it, obviously. Obviously, I did not do that. So it's a 5,000 milliamp battery. Goes in with this bit coming out here. Goes back on. And then you charge it up. Isn't the cables in there? This is another. This is another one, but it's the same. The magnetic charge cable and just clips on, nice and solid. USB. Doesn't feel like it's going to fall off. It is quite a strong magnetic pull that. So that'll be uh, red when it's charging. When it's done, that goes green. So far, all the all lights I've had have been doing that. People have been complaining, saying that the, the LED doesn't go green, it, it just goes off. But no, the ones I've been using have been okay so far. So maybe they've fixed that little problem. I've never had the Seeker 2, so I can't really compare them, but you know, if you've got one, you'll know. So that's it. So you've got your on off there. When it arrives, it's in lockout mode. So if you don't use it for 30 seconds, it locks out. So it won't come on unexpectedly or, you know, I mean, you could probably start a fire with the turbo mode. So what they tell you to do is you've got to get this. This is like a rotating knob. It doesn't look like it would work, but it is quite chunky. So you rotate it through 90 degrees and that's your battery indicator on that side. This is the mode on that side. So on. Your battery mode, I've fully charged it. You press and you hold. Maybe I locked it out. That's it. <laughs> yeah, it's got, <laughs> it's so good I couldn't get it on. But you just turn that knob there, 90 degrees, and then you press and hold it, it comes on. All sorts of functions. Double click for the turbo mode, which is insanity. Turn it off and then treble click. Give you the strobe. I don't want that on too much. That will give you I'll give you a palpitation of that. So just knock it off for now. So we're gonna go outside and we're gonna try it. And see what we're gonna light up. I must say it is it feels nice man. Got a thing for your lanyard there. It hasn't come with a lanyard this time. Hmm, not a worry, I'm sure we've all got them. 
Right, so we're now out in the darkness, pitch black. I've just got this little Olight torch. It's just a little um, pen torch to give us. Let's see what's going on here. So what we do is, right, you flick it 90 degrees, the lights come on, press it, flick it another 90. Ah, oh, you just click it on. You've got to familiarise yourself with it. It's on um, it's on moon mode now. It is on. So hold on. I can't do too many things here. So just cramp ramp it up. Right. It's just getting brighter and brighter. That I'm turning that wheel there. I think that's full there now. You're on full on when all fours lit up. That's insane. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. So they reckon I think on the box it's at about 12 minutes on this mode. But the bulb will get hot, you know. You've got to be careful. You can only use this really when you need to. You can ramp it down. See, I've got gloves on, and I'm using that wheel on the top, so it's good. So it's about take it down to number three. Take it down to two. Two is all you need for walking. Really, that's good. And when you double click it. You get the turbo mode back on. I mean, how are you? That's more than enough, isn't it? That's just lighting up the whole place. People are going to be thinking what's going on. I'm a sucker for a bright torch, and that is definitely one of the brightest ones I've seen. That's mad. Oh, the beam on it. It isn't got a focused beam, it's just a flood. So all I do a flood beam and a focus beam on the same torch. That will be the winner. So when you turn it off, if you turn it on three times, that's your strobe. It's a self-defense strobe. Shine out in somebody's eyes, they're not gonna bother you either. So you turn it on, go down. So if you turn the wheel right down. That's the lowest light there, and you can still I can still walk around here. No problem. So there you go. The Olight Seeker Pro 3. All the torch you're ever going to need. Oh, it's icy out here. I mean, look at that. You're not going to lose your dog in this, with this thing. You're not going to lose anything with this. There you go. Link's in the description. Flash sale is on. It starts um, Monday, 8 o'clock. Monday the 12th now, as I'm filming this. I don't know if I'll get this video up in time. Definitely not before 8 o'clock. But between today and the 16th, of December the flash sale is on so you get some big discounts I'll put all the discount codes and all the links everything if you want to get yourself a, a mega torch a mega torch it's unbelievable <laughs> men and the torches I'll show you some photographs comparing the pictures of the boats with the little normal torch and then this thing is a big difference right I'm going to turn it down because I can literally feel it in my hand getting warm I'm going to turn it down to number, number two we'll do for now right so I hope this uh, helps somebody very handy camping fishing 
hiking, dog walking, just general annoying your neighbours. Could be a real nuisance for this thing. One thing I will say, just while I'm in the light, it's got the power down button. It won't come on in your pocket till you spin that wheel. So it can't switch on accidentally in your pocket, which is only a good thing with considering how hot it gets. It's not recommended to uh, have it on turbo for too long. Only as and when you need it. Level 3 is way bright enough. But yeah, it's got that fail safe mode. It's telling you the battery's power there, but it's not switching on. So you can't accidentally turn it on your pocket. Good idea, that. Alright, onwards. <laughs> 